discuss this further is Brenda Elaine Stevenson, who is a professor of history over at UCLA. Uh, joins us now. She's also the author of a book, is What is Slavery? Uh, good to have you on the show. Um, you know, some people would say that chattel slavery, uh, of the kind that we saw in the Americas and, and in Europe, uh, is over. So the question is, why do we need to remember it? Well, I think one of the things that's really important to understand is that um, all kinds of slavery are important to remember and to try to exclude. And so chattel slavery is part of a panorama of bondages, um, unfreeness that people have experienced really since the ancient world forward. And until we really understand what kinds of lasting impact um, this um, inequality has, then we will always have a, a, a society in which inequality plays out large in people's lives. Uh, Professor Stevenson, tell me this. Uh, there tends to be uh, probably a disproportionate amount of focus uh, on the United States. But there were other countries, especially regions, that were um, you know, implicated. Uh, can you briefly explain? Yes, well, you know, all of the Americas were impacted by the transatlantic slave trade. Whether or not you're looking at the Caribbean, you're looking at South America, um, or whether or not you're looking at North America or Central America, these places all received Africans who were captives and brought to the Americas to work. And all of those economies from north to south to Central America to the um, Caribbean were based on slave labor um, and the slave trade. The focus on the United States, however, is uh, because the United States in 1860, right before the end of slavery, had the largest slave society in the Americas with four million people who were enslaved at that point. Brazil actually received the largest numbers of Africans in the transatlantic slave trade, and its slave society got to be almost as large as that of the United States, but never reached the exact amount that was held in the United States. Uh, this day of remembrance by the United Nations has been around for almost uh, 15 years. How do you think movements like uh, Black Lives Matter has sort of affected this agenda? Well, I think it's important to understand that the kinds of oppressions that people, that black people um, experience in the Americas today, and I'll speak specifically to the United States, are directly related to enslavement. Um, you know, our, our position within the criminal justice system, our position within the economy, um, our position in, you know, um, um, the, the marketplace, all of that has been impacted by lingering sentiments of inequality, of racial inequality, uh, of black people not being equal to white people, um, et cetera, and the resources of this nation not being available to black people. So it's very important that um, organizations like Black Lives Matter keep this before the public so that Hopefully, uh, this inequality will um, end at some point. Um, Illinois City uh, recently became the first city uh, in the United States to offer uh, its black residents uh, sort of reparations for U.S. chattel slavery. Uh, do you think we'll see more of this in the future? Well, Evanston, Illinois, yes, is the first to do so. Um, there are other um, things that are being done now. California just passed a bill which investigates whether or not um, its uh, reparations for enslavement should take place um, in the state of California, which is, of course, one of the wealthiest states, one of the most populous states in the nation. That will make have a great impact. There's also a movement um, in Congress right now. A bill is being um, talked about to be passed with regard to investigating reparations. Lots of other groups that have been disproportionately impacted by discrimination have received reparations um, from the nation. And so African Americans will continue to, to fight for reparations as the well. 20, the 25th of March, the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery. Uh, Professor, thank you very much for joining us. I do appreciate it.